friends! Welcome to Daily Sourdough. Today I'm going to share with you a really delicious frosting recipe that goes great with my chocolate cupcakes. It's very simple and it's called a Russian buttercream frosting or sweetened condensed frosting. Start with two cubes of butter that is at room temperature. You want it at room temperature so that it whips up really, really nicely. You want it to be really fluffy since it's the main body of your frosting. Now, either with a stand mixer or a hand mixer, beat this, this butter until it's really light and fluffy. That'll take a few minutes. Once you've really whipped that butter and infused a lot of air into your butter, take your sweetened condensed milk and very slowly while your beaters are, are going, add the sweetened condensed milk until it's creamy and fluffy. Halfway through, stop your mixer or your beaters and scrape down the sides of your bowl so that all the butter is getting mixed with the uh, sweet condensed milk. Next, add some vanilla. And I love to use this powdered vanilla for two reasons. First, it, do, it won't change the color of the frosting because it's pure white. And second, it won't change the flavor it doesn't have the alcoholic aftertaste that the liquid vanilla can often have. So add a little bit of vanilla. And then if you need your frosting to really stand up for a while, if you are gonna pipe it on your cupcakes and it need a little bit of extra body to your frosting, you can add a half cup of powdered sugar to just stiffen it a little. It's not necessary, you can just leave this as is, but I'm gonna add the powdered sugar just to give it a little extra body so that it will hold up longer on my cupcakes. And there you have it, friends. A really quick, easy, unique, and extra delicious buttercream frosting it will go great with chocolate cupcakes and any chocolate cake. It has kind of a caramely taste to it. It would be really good on a pumpkin roll or pumpkin cupcakes or pumpkin cookies as well because it almost has that cream cheese feel and taste to it, but it's just a little bit, you know, it's just a different type of frosting, kind of a fun, change up. So give this a try and be sure to stay tuned because I have so many recipes on how to use your sourdough starter on a daily basis.